Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we will gonna discuss Fibonacci series using recursion. Right? So already have uploaded a video that uh, Fibonacci series using Java with normal approach but today we will gonna see Fibonacci series with recursion. Right? So whether you are a professor or experienced people so a lot of time we'll get uh, this question by interviewer like uh, write a Fibonacci series using recursion right for experienced people uh, this is very important because a lot of time will face this uh, interview question from my experience I have faced a lot of time so definitely this will be very helpful to you people okay so what exactly Fibonacci series so Fibonacci series says that the next element will be summation of its previous two elements right so if you see, sorry if you see here if you see here 0 and 1 initial elements let me choose my pen so 0 and 1 initial elements so the next element will be 0 plus 1 is 1 okay then done this one then what will be the next element this 1 plus 1 is 2 what will be the next element? The previous two elements summation. So here, this 2 and 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Right? So what will be the next element? It's previous two elements. So what are the previous two elements? 2 and 3 is 5. Right? So Fibonacci series says that Fib of Fib of n is equal to fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 right so it's previous two el two elements summation okay so uh, let's have so this indicates so what will be the fourth element of the Fibonacci series right so here 0 1 2 3 fourth so fourth element will be 3 okay so let's uh, let's plot this uh, example okay so here fib of 4 if you formulate over here what will be this one fib of 4 minus 1 and plus fib of 4 minus 2. So here fib of 4 minus 1 is it's a uh, let me take different color. Let's take this one. So it's 3 and here 2. Right. So again. So again here, so fib of 3 means what exactly? It's fib of 3 minus 1 plus fib of 3 minus 2, right? So here again it's a fib of 2 minus 1 plus fib of 2 minus 2 ok so here fib of let's take different color again so here fib of 2 and fib of 1 so here fib of 2 minus 1 1 fib of 0 right so here the initial conditions or initial uh, assignments are fib of 0 is equal to 0 fib of 1 is equal to 1 right so if you if we formulate over here P of 1 is here 1 final outcome 
and here fib of 0 is 0. So 1 plus 0, fib of 2, 1. Okay, so here fib of 2 again, fib of 2 minus 1 plus fib of Two minus two is zero. Two minus one, one. Okay. So fib of one, what? One. Fib of zero, zero. One plus zero here, one. Okay. One and fib of one, one. So here, one plus one is two. Two this one, right? And here. We have done this one, fib of 2 is 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Right? So hope you uh, got a crystal clear picture how we have identified that fourth element of the Fibonacci series which is 3. Right? So this is that uh, recursion one. So if you will formulate using logic. I will show you in uh, IntelliJ idea. Okay, so if you want, you can take a screenshot of this one, or else you can see. Okay, so already I have a Fibonacci series logic without recursion. Now let's have uh, with recursion print Fibo. No, it's not print Fibonacci series. Uh, get Fibonacci. Uh, what? Print Fibonacci. And here, uh, that which element we want. Okay, so here if n is less than equal to 1 then return n okay sorry instead of void it should be end and otherwise uh, what we'll do return Fib of sorry, yeah, yeah. let's take this one as a fib. Fib of n minus one plus fib of n minus two. Okay, so this is that logic we have. Uh, done now let's calculate this one right so first let me take n is equal to 4 and we'll see whether it's printing 3 or not fave of this n and we need to uh, system dot out dot print ln right print ln and here we go so let's Right now, so it will print three. Okay, so let's see. It's building that, compiling that code. So this is the IntelliJ idea and uh, I, one IDE. Either of either of IDE you can use like IntelliJ idea or Eclipse or SGS right so if you see here it's printing 3 right so if you want it's a series so for that one we need a for loop so from int i equal to 0 to how many you want to print whether it's a 10 or uh, how many suppose i is less than equal to 10 I mean up to 
up to uh, 10 Fibonacci number will print right I plus plus and here I uh, will do like this and this int and not required at all here when where we're gonna pass I okay so this is this for loop is for printing Fibonacci number so 0th element 1th element 2nd element of the Fibonacci series 3rd element so like this 10th element of the Fibonacci series it will print and this method will return that nth Fibonacci number right so here n means whatever the element you will send uh, the nth Fibonacci number okay so this for loop is for printing those stuff let's print pretty awesome right so here 0 then 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus uh, 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 5 is 8 then 8 plus 5 13 like this it's it's got printed right so hope you got a clear picture that uh, how to uh, print Fibonacci series uh, Fibonacci series using recursion with Java right so if this video is helpful please do like share and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe and don't forget to uh, give your valuable comments in the comment section right so thank you for watching